Or just gauntlets with balls on the end. A key! Thank you! Yeah! Yeah! It's time you... Straight back out where I came from. The music is cool in this game. It is. It is really cool. <gasps> Onward and upward. Do, 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 do. Again, I'm glad the game gives you these little shortcuts, otherwise you have to jump all the way back and that would be murder. Loading. What's where's the map say I've gotta go? That's a door I can't access yet. Okay, so I'll go the way that the game tells me to. Which is this way. I see the chest and I have to open it. I'm like, chest, please! I got this game for like six pounds. It was ridiculous. Second handed, of course, but still. So cheap. I've got six pounds of enjoyment out of it already. But then my uh, my perception of how much things cost is usually quite high. So this big ball of energy, this giant ball. Yeah, I picked the master key because that's the only thing worth picking in Dark Souls. The only thing worth picking is the master key. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. This, those are worse. So I'm going to drop these sh these cr crappy ones. Because they're clogging up my inventory, if I'm honest. Oh, I auto-looted them back up again. Boom. Ignore me. Thank you. I'm very well, thank you, sir. How are you? So black black. Did that open? A did that open the door the other way? Maybe. Wait. Let's not jump to conclusions here. Last time I did that, it was a bad time. I think I actually have to do something here. Maybe. Maybe. Why would this place exist solely for a item? It wouldn't, would it? You wouldn't think so. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I am satisfied. The master's key makes it so you can skip most of Blight Town. That's why it's good. You're good, feeling a little sick. Oh, I'm sorry. Everyone feels poorly. Everyone feels really poorly today. I don't get it. I feel. I feel all right. My eyes are a little bit, you know, quite locked in things. There is something there. I knew it. Ah, yes. Okay. That's why looking at the map's important. Okay, so... Yeah, everyone feel, everyone's feeling poorly. I feel okay. My eyes are a little bit, like, weird. But I didn't sleep at all yesterday. But I slept today. I slept for a good... 10 hours, maybe? But I'll have to catch up on some again tonight, I think. Turn you on defense. Can't argue with that. Being able to take more hits when you're not very good is a very useful thing to have. Ready to jump off the jump off the world. I do hope people have fun when they play games with me, like uh, G Mod and things. That's all I want, really. As long as people have fun, that's all I'd ever ask for. A vagabond shroud. Interesting. 
Oh, everyone's poorly. Have you not recovered from winter time? You're greater than the fact my arm's missing. Well, Paladin Zach, uh, Zark, I, call, I almost called you Zach, like FF7. But, um, Zark, we have to live without arms sometimes. This is, a, this is a sad reality that we live in. Me is okay. Hungry. I'm, I'm pretty hungry. I haven't eaten all day. But I woke up and thought, you know what, I'm going to stream. Because I've got to get into the routine of streaming for like three hours every day at least. What do you do when you play Gary's Mod? I play TTT with my friends. It's very draining. Super draining. Hey, Shonagar. Mainly because uh, there's a lot of pressure on me to make sure that everything goes well. Especially if I'm streaming it. And that no one falls out and no one has a bad time. I put that pressure on myself. Hey, Shonaga. Hey. Oh. Wait, what? What? Please don't say, oh. Oh. Did I, did I fuck up? I may have. I might have done. Mm, yes. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so I'll just go back around again. Fine. You stream when you feel for it. Yeah, I know. I. But I've also got to get into a routine because that's what makes people. If you don't know, Joey's Twitch explanation time. Uh, the people at Twitch very much value people who do things often. Right. So be that stream three times a day or stream at least three times during the week for three hours each. They're the sort of requirements that you're expected to do. Right? Now, I've been streaming, I try and stream every day, Monday to Friday, but I stream at different times. Sometimes it's 10 in the morning, sometimes it's 12, sometimes it's 1 in the afternoon, sometimes it's, you know, and that's generally a bad thing because people who are new will come back and be like, what? Why are you streaming at this time? Why are you streaming at this time? When you were supposed to be streaming this time. And that makes people uncomfortable. So, you have to try and do something regularly, or at least in some form of routine. Which is what I'm trying to do. But anyway, what I think I was supposed to do is go up there. And I just jumped down without even really thinking about it. <laughs> Which is quite silly of me. Especially when the map shows this weird white line as if you're supposed to know. Well, you are supposed to know that this this white line is something you can do something with. It's not just a programming error. Also, apparently can fall any distance, which is really nice. So if I push that, the door open. Nice one! And then there's a new part of the map I've got to explore. Which is cool, because this is like this is like Zelda, like I said. A lot of people consider this game like a darker version of Zelda. Daisy! And being called a darker version of Zelda is actually quite a uh, compliment. I think Zelda's one of the best games they've ever, they've ever made. Or at least one of the best series of games. Every game series has its hits and misses, but... Generally, I think that Zelda is really good, so to be compared to Zelda is quite an honour, I would say. So, okay, so the repetitive nature of the combat doesn't really bother me that much. Usually, if a game had repetitive combat, 
like, you know, Devil May Cry or things. Where you only really do the same move because it's the only move that's any good. It's a bit of a pain in the ass Because you get bored really quick of doing the same things over and over again. But the fact that this game has an active dodge system, not to say that Devil May Cry doesn't. But an active dodge system that I can use and that I feel good for dodging things and then using an attack afterwards. It's, it's quite satisfying. Oh, I know. I know what I have to do. If I dislodge this... So you have to use a shadow bomb to dislodge this, apparently. Chuck it at it. Eh. Try again. I think I did the one thing I wasn't supposed to do, which is throw a bomb at the top of it. If you throw a bomb at the bottom of it, though, maybe. Maybe it'll dislodge. There we go. Roll. I'm going to take a nap listening to you, so I might not talk for a good while. Okay. You don't mean I'm that boring you fall asleep to my voice, do you? I hope not. Or am I soothing like a mother to their child? So I'm okay with that. Just need one more bomb, I think. One more bomb to open up the... This, to dislodge this bomb here, over there. That was actually a pretty good throw. Right, open that, and then get the chest full of boss key. Or is this the boss key? It looks boss-like-ish. Just a key. You sound soothing and ah, ah, how sweet. I have to go alone. That's a very nice thing to say. Loading, loading, loading. Also, the loading times—they aren't bad. The la the loading times aren't as bad as people might think. I get used to it. Every game has loading screens. It just depends on how you want to do them. Some people make it go to a different screen where you wait until it loads. Some people, like Assassin's Creed, let you train your moves while the game's loading in the background, etc, etc. Whereas this game just stops and says loading, and then it, off you go again. But at least it doesn't take very long. It'd be a really big problem if it took ages to load the game, but it doesn't. So, the end of the day. As of right now, I would recommend, I would recommend the game. To, for people to at least try. I got it really, really cheap, so no time to waste. I think it's worth it. I am good. Shonagar, I am I am good. I I know you're talking about the uh, the chatteroos, though. Oh, I was supposed to jump off of it. I think I did the right thing. Pretty sure. Yeah. I did the right thing. So now I'm going to go up here. Although I think I was supposed to jump off it backwards. I think... I, I'm pretty sure I just got lucky. Because I was supposed to fall into lava if I didn't jump the right way. I, I, I would imagine. I would imagine. Okay, jump down here. And call it back up, I guess. Some moolah! Yay! Okay. Pick up. Firstly, chuck it at this thing. Get another one. Any more corruption around that I can chuck at? I'm talking about everyone, including me. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm doing well. Ah! That's what happens if you don't... If you don't pay attention and you look in first person mode, you run off the edge and die. That was a demo. That was to demonstrate.